The record should reflect that uh, it's 4.53. Mr. Brooks is back in this courtroom. Mr. Brooks, the only way I will honor that request is if you specifically uh, waive your right to do so. Without that, um, that's not a convenience for you over there. It's You go over there when you frankly demand removal under Illinois versus Allen. I demand anything. No, your conduct did. So you Our can sit. Our didn't demand anything either. Right, Mr. Brooks, please sit changing, down. You keep changing. And I'm going to continue with my sentencing remarks. You keep changing the jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is a subject matter jurisdiction that has yet to be proven on the record. In Mr. That Brooks, court and in this one. Please sit down. I would like to go back to the other court. It's not a courtesy to you. If you'd like to specifically waive your right to be physically present, then I will entertain that. Otherwise, never, you need to sit down. I never waived. To, I never waived the right to not be present. That's because you to, forfeited your right I to be present by anything, conduct. Honor, You're now wrote, back in this courtroom. Your Honor, I wrote three. I did what you asked me to do. You, you said, never once pledged to me, sir, that no, you would not interrupt. And you, you're demonstrating by being here that you continue to interrupt. Man, I ain't trying to hear all that. Because at the end of the day, I did what you asked me to do. You told me, you told the bailiff to tell Mr. me. Mr. Brooks, this is not a debate. You told the bailiff to tell it's me that I had to It's not a debate. You write. asked to come over here, and I honored that, well, I, I and I brought you back. I exercised my right three times. I shouldn't have had to do it three times. None of those opportunities that you wrote to me said, I pledge to not interrupt. I never had to do that before. You've never, you've never required that before. That is actually not true, sir. You've never required that before. Every single time that I've been brought over there, after some time, sometimes very short, sometimes an extended Brooks, period of time. You are just simply trying to delay the inevitable. I'm, Please sit I down. I don't care about the inevitable. I, it was already written from day one what hearing. was going to happen. That it doesn't make me lose any sleep about that. I know I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with everything. Then please I just sit down. Be, I just want to be treated fairly, which please, I have not been. Please sit down. And then you, Your Honor, and then you Mr. always make it seem this is like not a you debate. always make it seem like it's some type of aim, and it's not. Please sit down. We're talking about constitutional rights. You just told me, or you told the bailiff to tell me that I had to write to exercise a right that I should already have. I did that, not once, not twice, three times. And it still wasn't honored. And then I, I raised this sign. I'm, I'm Brooks, waving this for like 20 minutes your, saying I would, want, I would want to come back. I'm doing this. You're hey, here now. Can I come back? Can I come back? Can so I come sit back? sit down. It wasn't honored. And then I, had, so I, I said, can okay, finish. I'll write this and I'll see if your honor can see it on the screen. The objection sign saying, Mr. I've Brooks, exercised my right to be present. If you stop for May a I minute, have the order of the court. I'll explain it, but you have to stop I'm, so I'm I can explain my, it. Your Honor, you've never, I did what you asked me to do. Actually not. Yes. Let me explain the, and if, if I you did, would like. If I didn't, Your Honor, if I did not do what you asked me to do, then why did I? Why was I allowed to come back if I did not do what you asked me because to do? Because I'm frankly going to a very distinct portion of this hearing where I am going to impose sentence. Okay, that doesn't answer that the question though. Matters. That doesn't answer the question. Please sit down and, and I will explain and Your remain Honor, quiet with without due, interrupting me. With all due respect. That doesn't mean you're respecting me, you, so please you, sit down. With all due respect, you told the bailiff when I when I first said because every time that I've been brought over there in the past Mr. Brooks, you always stated, I don't you, need a history you always lesson stated of what I've done. That when I exercise my right to be present, Untrue. you Untrue. always said, Untrue. we have the record. We have the record. We can dig into the record. Mr. Brooks? I, I know what you. I know what the requirement was of me going, in, going over there. You've always stated on the record that when I exercise my right to be present, you will bring me back if, I'm, if uh, I will follow the rules of decorum. That's it, your exact words, which you said every time. Which you're I've demonstrating never, right now that had, you have absolutely Honor, no Honor, ability to do. With all due respect, I've never had to go through any type of certain words that needed to be needed to be said or stressed or anything like that before. I've always done it the way that you've asked me to do it. No different than today when I told the bailiff I would like to be present. You told the bailiff, if he wants to be present, he has to put it in writing. And pledge to it, me I that you will in, not interrupt me. I put it in writing. Without a pledge. So, so why am I here? 
because I'm going to move on to another phase of this hearing, and I thought it important that you be here in person. So, so I was here. But you didn't reclaim your right to be back here. Then why am I, I here I am then, Your Honor? allowing it to okay. happen. Okay, and, 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 and I respect that you're allowing it, but still, it, it doesn't answer the question, though, Your Honor. It does not answer the question. Mr. Brooks. As a, Your Honor, as a public Mr. Brooks. servant, I have the right to ask questions Sir, of your honor. I'm going to ask you one more time, and if you refuse to sit down, then you are in direct disobedience of a court order. Sit that, down and be quiet so I can make the appropriate can record. You, can you tell me what the, um, the court right, order he's is? He's not going to obey. He's now forfeited his right to be present. Obey. He will go into the other court. I didn't say I wasn't going to obey. We'll be I in just recess asked what until is the he's order. there. I just asked, what is the order? I didn't, I didn't say.